Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about Shopify app bridge. So how we can use it and why it is useful when developing any Shopify app. Although we are using like Laravel, but it is a helpful tool. We use it and at some point in our project, so you must understand it well. And in the future, it will be a lot easy for you to use this one. So before I talk more about this one, let's check out the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored to you by Cloudway. They are a great cloud hosting platform and it makes your application deployment a lot easy. If you don't like system administration work and you want one click solution to deploying your next PHP application, then Cloudway is going to be the best choice. It is so easy, like just sim simply select your application, either that is WordPress, Drupal or Laravel. Then you select your server, DigitalOcean, they support a lot of servers like Amazon, Google, and then you will select the size and you can deploy it. Later you can monitor it, you can scale it easily just one click. So that's it. Now let's go back to our Laravel app. Shopify app bridge is just a JavaScript library. It helps you simplify a lot of things when you are developing your Shopify app. Now we are not using a lot because we are using Laravel in, in this uh, video series. But if you are developing your app using React or any other like Node.js, you will use this a lot. So let's check out where we use this one in our app. So if I come to the store that we have here, now this is my app. If I click on this one, as you can see, it opens the app here and everything is working fine. But what if I want my app to open in a new tab? You may not know this is an, uh, a wireframe here. It means my app does not have access to the main store here. So you should remember this one. Now the thing is, you can open this in a new tab too. For example, I know the URL of my app. So it was the wishlist inspire.test. If I open this one, it opens in the new tab and it redirects me back to my page here. Using app bridge, that redirect happen and using app bridge you can disable that one let's check out in our code where we have used this one i didn't put it the package that we have used like laravel shopify did it that's why it is very helpful now if i come to the default uh, that bullet you can check out the directory here it is under vendor shopify app and here here they have used it the same way we have used turbolink in the previous video they also use the and package and they put the shopify keyboard here using app bridge, this is how they are going to put it. Also, it is going to take the version from the configuration and everything is going to be up to date. Now, what it is going to do for us is, it is going to help us like change the title of the, the page, as you can see, if I go to the product, this is still dashboard. If I go to the customer, it is still dashboard. It should change. We can use uh, app bridge to update those two. Now let's check out how we can disable the redirect. If I check, the code here for redirect equal to true i'll make it false if i save it for now now let's come back to the same wish list inspire the test check it out now our app is running here but it is in a new tab and the session for this one is for the for the store that we have here if we do not have this store then you cannot open this one. Let me show you what I mean. If I copy this one and open the incognito, I will open it. It will just show me the login page of my app. So you should enter your store URL and then it will install it for you. Now the thing is, how you change the title in app bridge here, this one. Now it will work both way. Like it doesn't like redirect you to a new tab if you are already here. Shopify always recommend you to have embedded App. so it should not run in the new tab it should run inside Shopify that's why it is very helpful now how you update the title here if I come to my code now we have all those pages created in the previous videos for example the customer and the product and the setting so if I come to the setting you can check out here we have used app bridge we have declared the uh, app bridge variable using the window app bridge object and now the title bar option is equal to dashboard while the page is equal to setting. If I make this one settings and the same way for the products, it is going to be products. It is going to dynamically update that one when you are changing your page. So lastly, I will do it for the customer. I will save it. Now if I refresh my page here, Everything looks fine. I am in the dashboard. If I go to product, 
as you can see this file has changed and it is a good user experience to tell people in which page you are while you don't necessarily do that but it is nice to do but this is the power of Shopify app bridge now there are much more features to that if you are using react or node.js so make sure you check out the documentation about this one if you ever use it also there are some debugging and we might use them in the future but for now that is all you have to know about Shopify app bridge and if you heard about this one you should not know that you are an app developer but you don't know the app bridge thank you for watching I hope it has been informative and I will see you in the next video